Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. Well, my Mustang broke on me. I know, insert Ford joke here. Ford means first on race day. So I was driving around getting some parts for my car so that I can, you know, make some more videos for you guys. And I had a little bit of a cooling issue going on. I got out of my car. I couldn't hear my fans running when I was stopped. So I figured I would check it out and see what was going on. Now, when I was driving the Mustang and it was overheating, the cylinder head temperature was getting all the way up to like 260, 265, which was really hot. So I had to shut it down, get off to the side road, let it cool off. I finally did get it back to the storage unit so I could take a look at it. First got out, checked all my fuses, was like, hey, they're all dirty, cleaned them off. Still all dirty, but anyway, none of them were blown. I checked all the relays, I flopped some around, couldn't find any problems. So, I looked, the fan is still there, even though you can't see it. There we go, look, hey, fan. So basically, I took it, I spun it, fan turns. So, obviously, there's something going on. Tore this thing apart. Uh, if you take a look here, I've got it pulled apart here. There is, that is my coolant fan wiring. That is your cooling fan resistor, and that's the plug. Well, I've already kind of fixed it. Let me take a look here. There's my old plug. Look at that. It's all melted. So basically, when wires melt, there's a problem, and you're basically just going to have to replace the pigtail, and that's what I did, as you can see there. Now, for those of you that don't do a lot of electrical work, let me explain to you how this is done. Basically, you're going to go to the store, you're going to get yourself a little package. It's going to come with a pigtail. It's going to come with these little butt connectors here. You know, looks like a little metal sleeve. And then you're going to come with little tubes of heat shrink. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to have your wire strippers. You're going to have the wires that are on the back. Now, if you have most of the replacement ones, they're all going to be black. On the old one, they're all going to be colored. So remember which wire goes where. And you're going to take it and you're going to strip off about a quarter inch of the insulation so it looks about like that and then you're going to have your little t steel tube on there your butt connector and you're going to take your crimpers and you're going to squish it down after you're done with that you're going to take your heat shrink tube you're going to slide it over the end you're going to take the other wire that you cut off originally from the original connector and stick it in there crimp that slide this over and you're going to use something to heat it up lighter heat gun anything like that and the heat shrink will shrink down and it will seal your connection that way nothing gets in there your connection does not corrode and fail now as you can see i've already replaced the connector uh you can see the black wires there it's going to go back underneath there and you want to tape it up so that makes it look kind of nice and it keeps you know the wires from rubbing on things and you know cutting into the wire and then ruining your work now this is apparently a common issue i found out uh, i never seen it on this mustang i actually stopped working for ford about the same time that these things came out so i never really got a lot of experience with these mustangs so i didn't get to see a lot of the stuff that failed not something that comes up very often but if you guys run into this situation i would say probably take a look at your resistor down there and see if you have any wires that are melted so if you get anything like that you're going to want to replace the resistor and you're going to want to replace the pigtail i haven't replaced the resistor yet because it's saturday and apparently ford is closed on saturday sunday so i have to wait till monday to go pick it up because no other store seems to want to carry one of these things the only ones that i could find were a whole fan shroud and i didn't want to replace the whole thing it was a lot more work to just replace a whole fan shroud than it would be to just you know two connectors and a little um pin that holds it in place so and it's also going to be cheaper so i'm just going to wait till monday go to ford pick it up all right so first start up let's see if the fans turn on now Turn that on, turn this down. Alright, we'll go through that. Cylinder head temps are still good, obviously because it's been sitting here a while. And I turned on my air conditioning, so let's go out and see if the fan has come on or not. Would you look at that? I got a perfectly good working fan now. I can feel it's blowing. It's making some noise, so I'm going to say that's a job well done. Alright, well, got it back together. Now I'm going to take this thing for a quick drive to make sure it's all fixed. Alright, best I could get was 216, and as I'm sitting here, it's cooling down again. We're at 214. So I'm going to say that it fixed it. I'll definitely go for a longer test drive, but for the most part, I've been doing laps, and it, it doesn't seem to really get any hotter than 216. So I'm going to say that I fixed something. 
Look, you see it's already cooling down. We're down to 210. Hey, if you guys like this video, can you please hit that thumbs up button? You know, it helps out with my channel. And if you guys do want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be posting new videos here soon. Hey, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you guys next video.